The editing community will probably cancel me for showing this method, but this is a very old method that I want to show you when it comes to stabilizing. How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you an even more advanced tutorial on stabilizing your footage because there's different scenarios where you might not have something to stabilize or track to get a stabilization. This is a more advanced way to do a stabilized motion lock on effect. So let me get right into it. So you've seen the preview of this video, the final result, but a lot of these clips weren't this steady or this locked on from the camera. So let me show you what it looks like without any stabilizing and just a raw video. So here we have the original clip. You can see this is not steady. It goes up and down. It's not even centered and it's not very pretty. So we need to lock on. So the normal method is to do stabilized motion and you choose a track point. But a few things you'll notice is one, you could track one of the letters on this porch right here, but it may not do it so well because it's very hard to see or is that the center point of your focus? So to do this, you need to make a 3D camera tracked object and then you track that object. So we're here in a pre-comp. This could be your main timeline. Doesn't matter yet because we're gonna organize and pre-comp this anyways. So the first thing you need to do is add on 3D camera tracker. You know, press analyze and you will analyze your video and you'll get tracker points, just a normal 3D track. So we here, we have a, a lot of track points and the focus of the video should be right around here in the wing where this little dot is. So I'm just going to skim through it and yep, that's where I want it. So I'm roughly going to pick a point right around there. I'm going to select it and I'm going to create a solid and camera. So now we have a solid right there and we need to adjust it to the exact point in where we want it in 3D space. So here we have our object and let's just adjust this and move it exactly to where we want it because we'll be tracking this point. So I want to make sure the center of it stays around the middle of the wing. So we need to change the Z coordinate, move the X right around here is perfect for me. So now you're wondering what well, now do I just track this, make it smaller? You can, or you can pre-compose this and make a custom object or shape. So we're going to pre-compose this, leave all attributes because we don't want to adjust anything or move the 3d track into there. And we're going to go in this pre-comp. So we have a solid layer. And the trick now that you want to do, there's so many ways to do this. Before we get into this, you need to make sure you're not selected on your solid layer. So click out of it and then go up here and select the eclipse tool. You can use any tool you want. If you want to use a star tool, rectangle tool, whatever. I'll use the star tool and we're just going to drag in here and make a little star shape. Once you make that star shape, change it to whatever color you want. Something that stands out. Um, in my case, I'll just make it orange and blue. Not a big deal. Stroke doesn't matter. And now that you have this, you want to make sure it's centered. So I'm going to turn on my proportional grid and we're going to drag this right in the center. So cool. Now we have a object with a center point to track. So we'll go back to our last composition and let's fix our rotation on our solid layer. So I'm just going to fix it real quick, get it facing the camera. And if I click away, you'll see now there's a little star in the middle. Put this to full quality so you can see better. Now we have a point in which we can track that is above the car. So now that you have your star added to your layer, you're going to add this to a pre comp and you're just going to move all attributes, adjust composition duration and don't open it. You don't need to. So now we have a blank canvas. So now you can do your tracking on here and we're going to track the star that we made in our 3d camera tracker. So we're going to click on stabilize motion and do the same exact thing that you normally would do with track motion. And you're going to go right here, set that. And we're going to track it. And now you're tracking in 3D space. Um, if it is slow for you or your PC can't handle it, then just make the star a lot smaller and then your tracking point will be a lot smaller. doesn't matter. It's up to you. Whatever works best. So now that the track is done, you'll see I got a really good result just on the first try. So I'm going to press apply. And now I have a tracked layer exactly where I want it. There might be a little bump right here. So there's a little bump right here. So what I'm going to do is open up my tracker. Let me make sure this is all good. So it skips a little bit right here. So let me just adjust it and reanalyze. Now that it's officially done, I'm going to press apply. And now my layer is tracked to the star, the center point that I wanted. And now we need to remove our 3D object. So we'll go into the pre comp and you can just hide your layer. So now I have a fully tracked exactly how I want it on my thing. 
Then I've added layers tracks. We can go ahead and add any motion tile, do any cropping or adjustments you want to do. Um, in addition, if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced in this, you could change the location of your camera. So let's say at the end right here, it's not where we want it. You can just adjust your position. So keyframe it however you want, and you can move it back in there, and then you can track it as so. So you can always make sure you're in the middle of your frame or wherever you want to be while you're doing this. For me, this was good enough, and now I have a tracked clip. That pretty much sums up this video. So I hope you learned something, and for everyone that's gonna be mad that I'm showing this method, this is a very old method. I was probably 12 years old when this method came out, so it's nothing new, it's just another strategy on working smarter and more efficiently in After Effects. So subscribe, leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next video.